and welcome to Karine and Company. This is my first video on how you can enhance your lung chi, how you can enhance your immune system while we're going through different viruses or pathogens. The lung channel starts right here, lung one, lung two. This is our clavicle and it's just in this little depression here, kind of runs to our little armpit. So lung one is the front move of our lung. It helps descend the lung chi, so if you have coughing going on, you can press these points kind of into the bone and help. So there's one, two, here's lung three, four, and then in our cubital crease, this is five. This is a really great point, they're all great points, to help move the chi. This is lung six, or the chi cleft point. This is seven, the low connecting point. And then we have eight, nine, 10. This is an amazing point for cough. And then we have lung one. So what I'm gonna teach you today is something you can do at home. If you'd like to do acupressure, you could. If you'd like to go to your acupuncturist, you could. But let's do a little self-healing at home. Let me get my chair in a better position. So you can either pull in on your top, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna show you how to work this channel. You can move lung chi, you can tonify your lungs. You're just doing this nice sweeping. You don't really need to remember what I have going on here, but what you're actually doing is you're starting up in your chest, you're running it through your cubital, your wrist crease, through your thenar eminence, and through the medial side of your thumb. Let's say you have a really bad cough, take your knuckle here. One great point is to apply pressure. This is digit one, digit two, but the thinner eminence is this fat pad, and we're gonna go up against the bone. You could take a breath. Or you can come on this point, and we have Jing well points. Jing well points, it wouldn't matter if you know what you're doing. You can hold, pinch, breathe. But if you want to tonify your lung chi, maybe let's say you're having difficulty breathing. Possibly you have a cough going on. Maybe you're dealing, you know, this is the emotions of sadness and fear. We can sweep this. How many times would you do it? Well, I'd probably do it like a hundred times. This is one arm. And you can come over to here and do the same thing on this. And you're just gonna sweep down. If you have children, this is really good to teach them, especially if they have a cough or a cold. If they have rebellious chi, rebellious chi means we're coughing. Our lung chi should come down and connect with our kidney chi. If it does not come and connect, then it's rebellious and we have coughing. We have on so we have our sternum here, and then we have our first intercostal, our second intercostal, our third intercostal. So you can also sweep out like this because this is kidney points here. And if you sweep them out to your lung points, we're asking our kidneys and lungs to connect. They must connect, grasp the chi, so the coughing stops. Again, just feel free to rub your arms both sides bilateral. Breathe nice and deep in, exhale out. And all you're doing is tonifying your channel, your lung channel. You're giving it permission to breathe a little more easily, a little more effortlessly. And again, if you have a cough, it's in this large thenar eminence pad, the little fat pad. And this is our first metacarpal. We would just take our little knuckle, stick it in there midway midway, so it's about here. We'd stick it in here and just breathe. You could definitely use your finger, but I'm really trying to save the fingers. And just breathe. Again, this is just how you can tonify your lung chi while we're going through some difficult times. 
Our lung chi needs to be strengthened every day, even when we're not in the season of viruses, pathogens. We need to really enhance our lung chi. If you would like, you can just go from point seven and you can just go out like this. This is a shorter version. If you don't want to do the whole thing, you can just go from your forearm out. There's no need to hurry it. I'd like you to just sweep it out. Be conscious of your breathing. Really put a lot of love, a lot of goodness and greatness in there. Sometimes when we have a cough, we could have a lot of heat, we could have a lot of phlegm, we could have a lot of dryness. This point, just going through these points, your body's gonna know what to do. Again, we have our kidney points between our ribs here. You can just lightly pull and sweep, pull and sweep, pull and sweep. Take care of yourself. If you have a dry cough, you could get some honey in some warm water, mix it, drink it before you go to bed. If you wake up in the middle of the night and still have a dry cough, have your honey out, warm up a little water. It's the best way to warm and nourish your lungs. If you have questions, please send me a message.